Good morning. It's about quarter to six and I'm up and getting ready to do the second proof on these loaves that I started last night. Here I'm showing you the texture of what it looks like when I take the towels off in the morning. Um, basically the whole flour mixture has absorbed and it's not nearly as sticky as it is the night before. So we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna give it its second proof and just basically stretch and fold and build a little bit more elasticity and put as many air pockets in it as we possibly can because the more air that's in the dough, the lighter, the fluffier, uh, the more holes on the inside that it gets. Super yummy once you bake it. At this point, it almost reminds me like you're making like a pizza crust. Like if you'd want to throw it up in the air and like spin it around, you almost could. But really, you don't want to like overwork the dough because you can tell once you overwork it, you can't stretch it back into that ball anymore. So I just kind of like focus on making it flat, folding it over, pressing it into each other, picking it up, flat, fold, press, fold, press. And then I kind of start working it like into the center. And as I'm doing this, it's basically just continuing to trap more air inside of the dough ball. And the more you keep working with the dough, the more it continues to absorb the flour and you actually start to create a sticky texture again. So I've kind of learned that if you like a super, super crusty crust to really give it a lot of stretch till almost, almost so that it looks like the outer edges of the dough ball are starting to like break. And then I roll it in a little bit more dough before I stick it in the pot. And then it's gonna basically proof or set for another two hours and then we will bake these off around eight o'clock and with the magic of videography I will show this at the end. Okay, so here is the last final stretch. Kind of doing it closer to the camera so that hopefully you can see what starts to happen at the very end. What I mean, we're in the layers of the dough almost want to separate and you need to create a little bit of stickiness so that you can keep it in the shape of a ball till you're all done. Do one more final roll in the flour so that it doesn't stick to your pan. And that one's proof. Okay, so this one sat last night in the cast iron skillet, which since it's exposure to a little bit more air, you can see how the dough ball gets almost like a little bit of like a crustiness from the air exposure. Um, it doesn't matter, you're still gonna fold it uh, exactly the same way that I did the other one. All the crust gets worked out as you're manipulating the dough, so there's not any issue with that. After second proof is done, I put them in the pan that they're gonna bake in with a little bit more olive oil spray, cover them with foil, and ready for the oven in two hours. Okay, so I preheated the oven about a half an hour ago to 425 on convection. I have uh, an electric stove actually from Ikea, I think, that brand is actually Whirlpool, but every stove is gonna be a little bit different. So I have them all ready. The dough looked great. Gonna stick them in the oven, make sure that the cast iron has enough room, air room. And then don't forget, this is the most important thing I almost forgot. I get a little pan, put a little bit of water in it, and I put that down in the very bottom of my oven so that it creates some steam in there while they're baking. So I'm going to bake them probably for about an hour and then I'll show you the next step.
After about an hour of baking, then what I do is I actually take the foil off the top of the pans and I use my silicone uh, gloves to actually pull the bread out of the pot and then I put the entire loaf of bread back in the oven, not in anything, just to kind of like really get the crust on the outside. We like it like thick and crusty on the outside and then we like it kind of like stretchy and you know like uh, I don't want to say ooey gooey but we like it like stretchy and fluffy and that on the inside so put that back in for probably another 15 minutes and it is absolutely perfect We are actually a little bit obsessed with the smell of fresh baked bread in our house. And my kids are so spoiled now, they only eat it when it comes fresh out of the oven. But I would say that 90% of the bread that I make, I do deliveries and that helps me get out of the house. So it's one of my favorite things to do during the week since COVID has started. I pack them all up and then I love taking little drives in the Jeep. So there I go, making my little bread deliveries. I just door dash, leave them on the doorstep. Hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this video. Till we bake again, see ya.